Hello, hello. I am live. I'm going to wait till some more people jump in before I start talking about the rules. If you're watching later, then welcome back to my channel. I have these live vintage sales every Friday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I have. Hello. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Hi, guys. Hello. I'm going to wait until some more people come on before I go over, I'll say the rules because I don't like to call it rules, but it'd be rules. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mama J. Hello. You got your package. Great, Sandra. I always like to hear when things arrive safe. It makes me a little nervous. Hi, Billy. Hi, Lori. Okay, 23 people watching. Hi, Kelly. You were thrifting today. I'm jealous. I want to go thrifty. Hi. No one packs like me. Well, that's not true. If you buy anything from Melissa, Fresh Bloom and Clothing, she packs amazing. She's, I've learned everything from her gotten all my inspiration from her. Hey, Alex. Hi, Kristen. I binge watched your videos yesterday while I was working. Guys, go subscribe to Kristen's Cure. Where I'm leaning over. And it's fun to see the things that she Hey, when she goes treasure hunting. So make sure that you subscribe to her. You hit the thumbs up button. I'm blurry. Am I okay? I'm telling you what. I think I'm going to start bringing stuff to my house and doing it at my house because the connection here is just cruddy. Okay, is that any better? Let me know if that's any better. Maybe if I... Okay. Is that better? I turned off my Wi-Fi. Maybe that was the issue. Let me know if that's better, guys. Is this good? It's blurry. It's better, Lori? Oh, man. Good. Okay, so make sure that you subscribe to Kristen's Curiosities. Oh, no, Mama J says it's no. <laughs> I did, Kristen. I told everybody to go subscribe to your channel. Because you're, it's fun to see the things that you find all the way in the UK. Good. I'm glad that it's better. Always makes me nervous. So check out her channel. I'm really hoping that because I had somebody that said they wanted to come and look at something, and I told them that I would be here at noon. But I'm okay. She's not coming to the door. It's always awkward because I'm right up by the door. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my little talk. Let me make sure that. Hi, Carol. All right. So the way that this is, these works is i know that some of you are probably watching on your phone so it might be hard for you to send me an email but that's just the easiest way for me to be able to keep track of who wants what so if you see something hi lynn if you see something that you like it's the first person that i get an email from um claims it gets it um if i show something and you're and you're able to send me multiple emails i want that i want that i want that that's great um, British Columbia, awesome. Just if you would put in the subject what the item is, um, send me a final email with the list of all the things that you said that you wanted. And I'll let you know if you did get all of those things. So send me an email at poshypate at gmail.com. My email is in the description, but it's just poshypate at gmail.com. And I'll get you a shipping quote because all of the things I'm going to show you does not include shipping. So I will get you a shipping quote and let you know. Um, I will ship to Canada and I will ship to the UK. Um, but, you know, shipping is, you know, expensive. So, okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing, and I, I'm telling you what, I'm getting a little um, adventurous because I'm showing a couple big things. So I'm going to ship these big things. So if you want one of these big things, then let me know. Make sure that you hit, give me a thumbs up 
Okay, I just keep scrolling up to see the comments. Okay, first thing is something that's really cool and I've had a lot of people ask me about and it is this vintage toy refrigerator. Hello, Bright Indiana. Where is that at? So at the top of the freezer opens, I'll try to, so you can see. It says Wolverine refrigerator. The top opens and the bottom opens now. Peekaboo, it does have some rust. You can see there, Ontario, Canada. So this does have a little bit of rust, but it will look, it's just so cute to add to a display. You could even, you know, put some things inside it. Here's the back, and rust and bottom. This is $15 for the little refrigerator. So the little refrigerator is $15. If that's something that you want, poshypate at gmail.com. All right, there's the little refrigerator. The next thing is something that's really cool and really colorful, and I love it. Hi, Teresa. Is this jumbo anagrams designed with squares? So it's this canister. It has its lid. The graphics on it are really, really neat. It does have a little bit on the top where the paper is missing, but they're sort of like Scrabble tiles, I guess, but they're cardboard. And I don't know that they're all included, but <laughs> hi, George, Antique Nomad's here. Go subscribe to his channel too. He's the antique professor. There isn't anything about antiques and vintage that he doesn't know about, honestly. So make sure that you subscribe to him. So these have these little cardboard letter tiles, really cute graphics, again, up on a shelf. Um, and this anagrams is $6.50 plus shipping. Bright is in the Southwest Indiana near the Ohio border. I like the name of that town. Don't you wish it's probably not bright and sunny there because it's not bright and sunny in Indiana. It hasn't been for the last several days. All right. The next item is this cute little plastic matchbook holder. It has a little windmill design. It's plastic. There isn't any maker's mark on it at all. You can see here you put your, you hang it on the wall and then you put your matchbooks or match boxes in there. Hi guys. And this little guy is $4 plus shipping. I love the red color on this. Very, very vintage and retro. Also red. Did I miss holiday goodies? No, I will be doing a holiday sale. Huh? I'm going to have to go through all that stuff. So I might have a, a an early Christmas sale. Great. I know. I'm selling, pricing things to sale, guys. This is, someone asked if this is it orange or red. It's kind of in between. It's kind of an orangish red. So like this pillow is red. So, you know, it, it depends on what you have it set up against. If it's kind of by itself, then it'll look more red. But when you set it next to something red, it looks more orange. But I wouldn't say that it is an orange for sure. Okay, so that's $4. And red, speaking of red, I have these, what does it say on the bottom here? Metlocks. Strawberry salt and pepper shakers. They both have a stopper. There's no damage on them anywhere. And they kind of sit, you know, kind of sideways. They're flat on one side, and these are $7. It's kind of faded there, but $7 for the little strawberries. They're so cute. So cute. I know there's a lot of people that like strawberries, so I wanted to be able to show that. And then this is really cute, too, and I love this kind of stuff. This is the stuff that gets me every time. Those are Metlock strawberry shakers. There's a whole set of dinnerware to go with it. See? George is the antique professor, the antique professor. So if we, we just need to ask him because he knows everything. He's like walking encyclopedia. And I'm really hoping that he comes down so he can kind of go through the stuff that I have in the shop and we can go thrifting and go some, to some antique malls in Bloomington. All right, so this next little guy is a little Scotty dog. See, he cute. Now, he does have a little chip on his ear right there. I'm just looking him over to make sure there's not any other chips. 
Don't believe so. But he's so cute and he is $5 plus shipping. So if you see something you like, poshypaint at gmail.com. All right, speaking of dogs, I also have this really cute dog planter. It is not marked, but it's, it's, I believe it's American. It's American pottery. And, oh, hi, Sherry. He has a little hairline crack right there. It's not all the way through, and you can't even really feel the crack there. Hi, Franny Lee. So look at his little face. Now, he does have a little bit of wear on his nose, just where the glaze is missing. I don't think I would call that a chip. It's more the glaze is missing and he is oh he's Rio Hondo he's Rio Hondo and he is $14.99 what a cute little hound dog planter look cute the succulents in it Carol says I should go thrift with you I love I hey I'm always down for thrifting always down for thrift. hi Cynthia okay might as well show another planter I have another planter here a little I want to say that this is a pig, but he, I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a pig, but he has kind of a pointy nose. So it's like, is he a hedgehog? I don't know what he is, but he's cute. His little face. He has good crazing. I like crazing on things. I know some people don't, but I do. I'm trying to get to pick up the crazing. Hi, Kelly. Kelly from Arizona. Kelly, I got your package. I need to open it up. I'm going to film. Um, Kristen sent me a package and Kelly sent me a package and I'm going to film me opening those packages because I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I can't wait to open them, but I, I've been good. I've not opened them yet. Hi, Rebecca. But the little piggy, he is a little planter and he is $6 for him. It is, I think it's a pig, but his little pointy nose, he, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a hedgehog too, but I don't think hedgehogs have ears like that. So maybe it is a pig. Maybe it's a pig. Okay. What else do I have? I've got all kinds of stuff. Um, I have a I'm trying to see if it, this is marked. Can't tell. A little Hoosier glass tea canister it has the aluminum lid now there are some you know chips out of it here and to me it almost looked like it was i'm gonna say it was dropped and then it did but it didn't break because i think it would take a lot to actually break this guy i'm not able to get the lid off but it, it does say tea it's embossed baby pigs have nose like that well maybe it's a baby pig then here is the bottom. Now, George might be able to say what that mark is on the bottom. It's just a circle. It has it. an S in it. But it has a little bit of wear right there. So this is $8 for the Hoosier cabinet jar. All right. I also have a granite ware lid just the lid only these look really neat just as the background on a shelf in a display it's just this gray granite ware does have a little bit of rust on the lid the rim and it is five dollars the granite ware gray granite ware lid okay just kind of scrolling up the com the making sure that i'm not going blank again um, oh, friendly, you have to go. Well, I'm glad that you were able to come, at least for a little bit. Okay, let's see. The next thing I have is this red um, enamel tea kettle. Now, I would not use this. <laughs> it's pretty rusty on the inside. The enamel on the inside is gone, but it's so cute and it's red and white. Again, a shelf sitter. It looks good on a shelf. It does have a lot of wear right there, but I like the fact that it does have the lid, but you could even put a floral display in it of some sort and kind of nestle the lid in there or just sit it on a shelf. It has the spout. 
there, there's the bottom of it. The enamel on the bottom is gone a little bit, but this little enamel pot is $15 plus shipping on the enamel pot. Okay. And I also have this little flower sifter. I've never seen one like this with the little ducks on it. Now it does have some wear. I know Kristen, that would look really cute with flowers. I know. On my porch, I have a lot of enamel wear bowls in the springtime and summer with flowers in it, but yeah, that's really cute. But this little sifter, I've not seen one like this before. It doesn't have any maker's mark on it, but this also would be cute with flowers in it too, but I've never seen one with the little ducks on it. A little, they're kind of orangish red and blue ducks. And this little flower sifter is $6. Still works. I mean, you can still, I use an old sifter. I still use the old sifter. There's nothing like the old utensils. All right, I'm gonna show a couple bottles. I don't know, I've had some people ask me about bottles, so I don't know if this is gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I've chosen a couple of them. And they, one of them is this Dr. Miles Mech Company. It's embossed. And it's cloudy on the inside, you know, it's hard. Now I've cleaned these the best that I can, but it's hard to get some of that cloudiness and oxidation off of it. There's no chips on it. I'll give you a good shot of the rim there. And I don't believe that this, no, this one's not hand blown, but there's the bottom of it. It almost looks like it has a planet Saturn on the bottom of it. And Dr. Miles Medical Company bottle is $9. Or the bottle. This other bottle I think is really cool. It's kind of a blob top bottle. And it is Dr. Cummings Vegetine. Vegetine, also embossed. It's a larger size. I should I keep thinking I need to bring a measuring tape over here so I can get you guys measurements. It still has a remnant of a cork in it. It has more of a blob top or a round tiny. There is a seam. There is a seam in the bottle, but it, does it go all the way up? I believe the seam stops right there. It stops at the, the neck of the bottle. So this one has a number six on the bottom and it is $12.50 for this bottle. And it's the tint, not much, just a very faint little blue tint, tint to it. Okay, 64 people watching, 12 thumbs ups. I know that it's hard if you're watching on TV to do the thumbs up, so if you just remember to do thumbs up later. Hello. Oh, I'm buffering again. Hi, Rita. Yes, I will give prices first before I show it. Hi, Pammy. Am I not buffering right now? <laughs> Hi, Janice. The weather is rainy, but it's, well, and, okay. So the next thing, this is something that I have debated on keeping, but I'm not. There's another one I'm going to keep instead, instead of this one. So I love this so much, but I'm not going to keep it. And it is this little um, stove, children's stove. Look at how cute this is. And I believe, yeah, this is the thing that's, oh, I'm buffering now. Maybe it's because I'm moving. I will be hearing out, I will be having a, well, probably, I don't know for sure. I do have a lot of Christmas things in totes because we packed it all away. Am I still buffering? Oh. <sighs> Yes, who buy, whoever buys the fridge, it would look cute together. But this was, at one time, it had an electrical cord on it. Could you imagine children playing with this today? Because I believe that this is the heating element, so this would get hot where you could actually cook. Oh, hi, Kelly, you have to go teach. Yay, I'm not teaching anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. I really kind of don't miss it. But that's I do some days. 
All right. We don't mind you buffering. <sighs> Makes me nervous when I'm buffering. I need to have a plaque that says, am I buffering? <laughs> and put it right here because I don't know. I, I know this because of the middle ceiling. It's probably why. But little dangerous fire child would never pass in today's day and age is 2250. Now I will say, let me show you all sides of it. There's wear and rust, but honestly, I like it just the way that it is. And I think it would look cute with, you know, things displayed on it, little, little, little things displayed on it on a shelf. That would be really cute. At Christmas time, I had a Santa mug on it. That was really cute. Now, the thing with this, I will say, I have it scotch taped at the oven door because the oven door doesn't stay shut. But I love this little thing. I think it would be super cute with things displayed on it. Let me show you what the inside of the oven looks like. Because you could also stage it with the oven door open. Well, maybe. That's some strong scotch tape. Okay, there we go. See? So that the door doesn't stay, it doesn't stay open or doesn't stay closed. So there is that, and that's $22.50. And then I have a candlestick holder. Okay. It's just so awkward. Okay. $22.50 on the little stove. I have this. Now, I love this. I have one of these, but how awesome is this for Valentine's Day? It's three candle candelabra. It's, what does it say on the bottom? Did I write it on the tag? I didn't. It says it is, oh great. I'm going to show my age not being able to see. Columbia. It's sterling weighted. It isn't sterling, it's sterling weighted. So the bottom of it is pretty, pretty heavy, um, but it's a beautiful piece. I, I have not shined it in any way. I kind of like it just the way it is, um, but this would be beautiful on a Valentine's Day table. And this beautiful piece is $18 plus shipping. I like the curves and the lines to it. There's the bottom. Let me see if I can show you the bottom of it. You can kind of make out. Uh, registered. It says, you know, it says sterling weighted. Hmm. The Friday sales are going great. Um, yeah, they're going great. I've, I tend to sell quite a lot of the things that I show and I take the stuff home with me. So everything that I'm showing you, I will take home with me and I give it about a week and then I list it on eBay. So everything that I showed last week is listed in my eBay store now. So if there was something that you wanted from last week, it is in my eBay store now. All right. Next thing. You guys ready if you want some more? I'm not buffering, am I? Just making sure I'm not buffering. Okay. I am going to show this. I think this is cute. This was made in West Germany. This little biscuit tin does have a little, a little candy tin. I'm trying to get this. And Dad's talking to me outside the window. So here is the little tin. Boop, boop. Really cute, really cute, neat graphics on it. And it is $10. Okay. All right. Sorry, dad was distracting me outside the window. Are y'all still with me? Okay. Did I say how much this was? $10 for the little West Germany lithograph tin. All right, this next piece I'm going to show you is interesting to me. I've never seen anything like this before. Some of 
of you guys may remember these things. It's kind of interesting, and I think it would look really neat on a dresser, like in a guest room. It's quite the conversation piece, I think. And it is a bosom friend, a trademark in the USA, patent pending. So here's the box. It does come in the original box. And it's this little, kind of like a little, I want to say it's a fanny pack for your bra. So this little fanny pack for your bra would attach to your bra strap with these hooks. So you could keep, you know, and then you put it underneath your shirt and you'd keep your driver's license or your money or your calling card because that's what they did back in those days. Happy Friday. Yay, you received your last purchase and you love it. Awesome. But your little bosom, your little bosom friend, this little pocket. I just think that it's interesting. It's just kind of a bygone thing, but it's the fanny pack for your bra. It's not big enough for a cell phone, so you couldn't, you know, you still have to put your phone if you put it in your bra the old fashioned way, but you can keep your money in here. But this little from the 1950s is seven, $7 for the bosom friend. I think it would be neat in a guest bet, um, bath. Just, you know, sitting up. All right, so there's the bosom friend. Next, I have these cute, now I love this made in Japan figurines. Great for traveling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's great for traveling. These little made in Japan figures, they're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just little, little figures here. There is a little bit like you can see on his hat, I don't think the paint is really missing. I think that's kind of how it was painted to begin with. And he is marked Japan. And same with the little girl. Look at her with her little hand up to her cheek. And she is also marked Japan. Yay, Mama J, you love your silverware. Tomorrow's your birthday. Happy birthday. So these, you get the set of them for $6. The little oriental figures six dollars no chips on them at all i think they're so cute very very cute all right let's show um let's show some vases some mid-century vases now i have a hard time selling these in the shop because it's just not the, the decor that people want around here but i have some really cool missing tree vases around time too okay this is a blow does this blow does this say blowing glass and it has the marbling in the glass and it has a number on the bottom here really unusual shape very mid-century there's no chips or cracks on anywhere it is not flash glass it is the real deal and it is seven dollars little red vase we'll call this a marble vase just to distinguish it from this little miniature kind of swung vase this is a little bud vase i think it's super cute too great for valentine's day and no chips or cracks on it it is it's hand blown there's not a pontel mark though but i'm for sure that that's hand blown hi fat bird finds subscribe to their channel too they have a they have some great stuff and we all need to get together and have a uh a meetup i think all the people down in the southern area kentucky and northern or southern indiana northern kentucky but this little vase is $8 for this little mid-century vase. No chips, no cracks, no flaws. And then I also have this super cute, it reminds me of a trumpet. It is Lefton. Lefton. This itty bitty little vase. And the thing that I love about it is that it's not straight. It's, to it's totally crooked. It's totally crooked. But I like that about it. Can you see how it's just like zoop, little vase, left vase, and it is six seventy-five. So blue left in vase, 
email me at poshypate at gmail.com. And Alex is one of my um, moderators. And go subscribe to her, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. <laughs> subscribe to her channel too. Alex is my buddy. Love her. All right. Oh, I have one more base. A green bud base. This one's very good for St. Patrick's Day if you're looking for some green things. Again, no chips or cracks. This one is flash painted on the inside. So that means that, you know, the paint would scrape away after time if you are rough with it, I guess, or if you use it a lot. Um, but the bottom base of this has a little design on it. There's no maker's mark on it at all. Just a little green bud base, and it is $7.75 plus shipping. Um, I wish the exchange and shipping rates to Canada weren't so high. I know. I will ship to Canada, but I know that it's expensive. But I will. I mean, if there's something that you want, we'll we'll find a quote and we'll see um, how cool it is. So those three bases there. Then these were so I've sold all the ones that I had. So I'm gonna try this one. Now this one isn't to me, it's not, not as neat as the rest. Did we just tell you if we want something? Yes, I should probably do that every update every once in a while. Um, it's cased. You it might be to, I don't know. It might, I'll give it a closer light where it's, you know, discolored on the outside at all. So it might be cased in the glass, but I don't know. I think you're right, though, because it does feel like it's glazed on the inside. I'm not a glassware person. I like the, the kitschy. <laughs> the kitschy is my, it's kind of my, my thing. Okay. Yes, yeah, so if you want something then send me an email and let me know what it is and this first person that sends me an email first with an interest in an item will get it um or them i mean i will send you a shipping quote make sure in your email that you include your paypal email address and your shipping address so i can get a shipping quote and it always it helps me out a lot if in the subject line you put what it is or just say sales so it, it distinguishes it from the other 15,000 emails i get okay, yes and alex she needs to be having a sale i keep telling her <laughs> yes just i mean this is just fun you don't have to buy anything just hang out with us okay so i've got this little tea bag holder and i have sold every one of these that i've shown this one is not like anthropomorphic with the kitschy little face on it this one just has some fruit on it it is marked Japan on the back. The, the kind of neat thing about this one that the other ones didn't have is it has a little has a little hole in it so you can hang it. Or just sit it on the shelf or you lay it flat if you're using it for a tea bag, but it is four fifty. With a little tea bag. And there is not it a, a chip out of this. So it's in great condition. All right. Another thing that has been pretty popular are these lithograph recipe boxes. This one has a pineapple and some fruit on the top, and I guess those are raspberries? Raspberries and grapes. There are some condition issues with this. I mean, it has some spot where the paint is scratched, and there are scratches on it. It was a well-loved recipe box. It was Miss Vicki Loudon's recipe box because her address label recipe box. And it is six dollars. I love these. Oh, I love these recipes. I like anything metal and lithograph. Kind of my my thing too. Okay. Since we're talking about kitschy and fun mid-century modern modern things. Okay. Yes. Alex needs to be having a sale. I keep telling her that she's got some good stuff she needs to have a sale on. The next thing is these. Look at them to make sure I'm telling you what they are. I think that they say Berwick. 
And I know if I hold it up to the camera, I might be able to see it better. Can you see that? Burnett. George. <laughs> if you're out there, I can't say it. But they are really cool. They're not big like but it's early plastic salt and pepper shakers. And they're the plastic is kind of swirly. I don't know if it's picking that up. On the top of them, they are marked. Let me get this right side up. Salt and pepper. Again, so cute in a vintage camper. So cute. So I have $10 on the pair. Looks like it says burrito. Yeah, I know. I really should bring a loop down here when I'm um, doing this because I can't tell what it says. George probably see it and like know immediately. Oh, I know what that is. You saw a burrito too. I don't think that it says burrito. That would be fun if it did. These are so cool for $10. Mm. I did keep a couple of these little red salt and pepper shakers. Dad's trying to, dad's unlocking the door. Dad's unlocking the door. He can't stand it. No, I just you gotta don't. say hi. No, I'm just going to listen. Oh, okay. Next thing, since we're staying on the little adventure modern thing, I love these two. This is a salt and pepper shaker. I'm hungry too. I haven't had lunch or breakfast. Oh. So this is a ship salt and pepper shaker. These little vials that look like the smokestacks. And the vials are glass. Let me see if the vials are glass or if they're plastic. They're glass. So the little vials are glass. And they fit in this little fun salt and pepper shaker case. And there's no chips cracks, no maker's mark either. Um, it's $8 for that cool piece. I just think that that's neat. All right, what time is it? One thirty-eight. I also want to know, do you think, I just have an, a, an opinion to ask you guys, do you think I'm showing too much? Should I not show as much stuff? Because now I'm trying to get rid of this stuff. So let me know. Alex and I were kind of talking about this too, how I can make this a little bit easier for everybody. But I just have a lot of stuff. And I'm trying to sell it. No way. <laughs> Show more. Okay. Show what you want to. I, you know, pay me. I just kind of think that too. I'll just show what I want. And the thing of it is, like I said, I'll hang on to this stuff for about a week. And then I get it listed on eBay. So if you want any of this stuff, then make sure that you send me an email or we'll get listed on eBay. Poshypate at gmail.com. The aqua, aqua cup. This aqua cup, I'm keeping. I'll show it to you, but I'm keeping it. I only had it marked for $2. It is hazel. No. Yeah, it's a hazel atlas. But it's, it's milk glass and the paint, it's painted on it. So I had $2 on it, but I'm keeping it. This is my collar. So Mark just walked in too, but I know that he isn't going to say hi on camera. All right. Let's see. I did pull a few art pieces. This is, is in a really beautiful oak frame. And it has a picture of a fancy man. What's he standing next to? A fancy pillar next to a fancy plant. Here's the back of it. And it has nails in the frame, which is a telltale sign of if, you know, if you're looking at artwork, if there's staples in it, it was probably made, you know, after 1950, that has nails in it, that the frame is put together with nails and that's a sign that it's older than the 1950s. They didn't start using staples into that stuff into frames and stuff. I sleep on fancy pillows. Maybe try it at home so the no buffering. I know. I think I may do that. Um, I have a question to ask you all here in a minute too, but I'll show you the corners of this frame. It has this really, brass. yeah, they're brass. Um, what is that called when it's punched? It's black. George! George would know. 
Um, I can't I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's a it's a. Give me a thumbs up in my buffering again. <laughs> Move the things that you're keeping so we don't. Well, I thought I kind of did, but I guess you could still see it. All right, so this stately man in this really cool frame is fifteen seventy five plus shipping. We are sandwiched in between a title company and a lawyer. So sometimes it's interesting things. Hi, Holly. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, okay. Everything else behind me, I'm not kidding. <laughs> if there's anything else you want to see, then let me know. But the little teal cup, I kind of saw it at the last minute when I walked in. I thought, oh, I'm going to keep that. All right. So my question is, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to film it this week. I'm not sure what day it'll be up, but I am going to film the vintage book sale. Um, I have tons of Victorian children's books and little golden books and some Whitman books. Um, so I will be posting that video next week. I'm going to film it probably Monday and um, I'll give you the prices on everything. And then you can, you know, email me if there's some books that you are interested in. Um, but another thing that I wanted to ask you guys too is I have a ton, ton I'm just of these like little little kitchen books. Like this one says, look at her icing a cake. No, she's not icing a cake. She's mixing a mix. Um, and then I've got you know, like royal baking powder. So I have tons of these little pamphlet books. So let me know if you would be interested if I did a little video on these guys too and show them and then like this one's jello and then offer them in a sale because they're pretty neat. Aww. Oh, your mom would be proud. Lisa is uh, Lavender Clothesline's daughter. Yes, I'm, I'm channeling my inner Karen today with my, with, my, with my earrings. I didn't do my hair though. I just, this is just air dry and go. So I, I didn't I didn't go that far, but I did I do have on some very Karen esque earrings. That's so funny. All right, so let me know if you'd be interested in the little pamphlets if I did a little little video on that. All right, um, let's see. I'm gonna show this because this would look really cute in Valentine's Day decor. Where you? Mark's going up in the attic. Change the filter in the furnace. <laughs> Dad, Mark, Dad said you'd just stay up in the attic. Okay. He didn't lock the door. No, he's going back to lock it. Okay, so let me just show you this little thing. Um, this is a little Cupid. And that her name is escaping me, but they're the artist's name. And her name is escaping me, but a little choppy. Let me try turning. So it is, it's, um, you know, it's a metal roof, so it interferes. Okay. Okay. So hopefully that will work. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll switch back off again I don't know this little cupid I believe this one is called cupid at no this wasn't cupid at rest there's at rest cupid at play I can't remember what this one is called now this has a little bit of I don't want to say that it's water damage but it's just kind of bubbly right here it is on this oak frame with the round glass it's not domed glass I know sometimes it is. It's a lot worse. All right, let me switch this back. This works any better. But the little hanger is on it, and this little Cupid is $8. It was better before. Okay, let me go back. No, don't keep your mouth shut. I want to be able to know if I'm coming in and out. 
because it's not doing me any good showing the stuff that nobody can see it. So let me know. Is this okay? Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to start bringing the stuff home and doing it at home where I don't have a metal roof. All right. Next thing. Now, this is a really cool piece. This is a, it's crown baking powder, dieters crown baking powder with a paper label. And it has never been opened. It's still sealed. And I mean, there's baking powder in here, but I mean, it's probably over hundred years old. Let's see if there's a date on this. It's manufactured by the JP Dieter Company in Chicago, but you can see the seam here. It's never been broke. There's a some little spots where the paper has peeled away a little bit. It is embossed on the top. Max Headroom style. <laughs> Do you all remember Max Headroom? And this is, this is a small tag. 1450 and it is full of baking of petrified baking powder pixelated I know it's really cool all right I have just seen one thing on my table that I haven't shown pixelated maybe it's because I'm moving if I could just stand still Pixelated, pixelated. Mm. Mark's in the attic. He's all right. He better. This is stressing me out. It's clear now. You paused out sometimes, didn't you? you I know. Much better. Much better. Oh, God. Okay. I think I'm going to have to start bringing this stuff home. And it's Mark's fault. I know! That's what I said. It's because he's up in the attic. He's screwing around with things up in the attic and making me go pixelated. All right. So, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. I think I'm going to have to start doing this at home. I hate to because it's just convenient for me to do it here. But we, you have to see what I'm showing or it's, it's pointless. All right. So since we're good, I'll go ahead and show the next thing. And that is this vintage chrome desktop pencil sharpener made by Boston Champion. Let me show you this side first. This is an old school old school pencil sharpener look at the metal on here it's kind of like i don't know sort of looks like granite and it does have the base to it very art deco mid-century um yes yes i will be at um i'm trying to figure out the time yeah, brings up memories. I'll, I'll make an announcement. But yes, I will be going live again on Sunday to do another sale. I'm doing them every other Sunday um, just because it's so over overwhelming to get it all sent off. Yep, I know. And this is $17.50 for the pencil sharpener. Okay, flower frogs. I have two flower frogs, not the metal kind, the glass kind, because the metal kind I like. The glass kind, kind not so much, but two flower frogs. What, I mean, they have some, you know, little flea bites and stuff on them, but they are $6 each. For the flower frogs one is a little more domed than the other this one's a little bit more flat so maybe specify if you want the domed or the flat flower frogs 
because one of them is a little bit taller than the other. Well, okay, the thing with the pencil sharpener was, don't you remember when you would like get, have a new outfit on? Maybe not, it, maybe this was just a girl thing, but you had a new outfit on and you like would go up to the pencil sharpener so everybody could see your new outfit. That's, you know, or if you had new shoes, or if you got your hair cut, I don't know, maybe that was just me. Probably was. But you wanted everybody to see your new outfit. You'd go and sharpen your pencil. Everybody's looking for the metal frogs. Cynthia, everybody wants, I have some and I took them all home because I'm keeping them. So yeah, you go up and sharpen your pencil. Or if you like wanted to, um, you know, talk to someone real quick or pass somebody you know, you'd go up to the pencil sharpener and do that. Nowadays, you got to stay in your seat. It used to irritate me when students would go up and sharpen their pencils right when you're talking. I was so shy that I never wanted anyone to look at me. I was always so shy too, wasn't I, Dad? Yes. No. Hi, Pat D. So I'm going to be on Pat D's channel on February 10th. He's going to do an interview. I've never been shy. Okay. What do I want to show next? How about some shaving brushes? Does anybody like shaving brushes? These are, um, well, one of them is Bakelite. Okay, so I've got this one with a Bakelite base on it with the bristles. It is $6. Again, if there's anything that you're wanting, send me an email at poshypate at gmail.com and let me know what you would like to purchase and I'll send you a shipping quote. And this one is not a Bakelite. It's not celluloid either. It's just, I don't know. It's just a plastic. I don't think, I know that it's not Bakelite. Oops. And it is $5 for the shaving brushes. Bakelite six, not Bakelite is five. I was shy and my baton, my mom's commenting. My mom is Dairy34119. That's such a crazy name. Mom, you need to make, have a, a more pronounceable name. Hi, Francis. Yeah, you can watch some of it later. And if there's anything that you're interested in, then let me know. <laughs> Listen, the thing it is, with my, I, I basically got up at my baton recital and froze. But... That was because I didn't pay attention during class. I didn't know my routine because I was probably talking to somebody. So that's the real reason why. Uh, the, you know, when you do routines, you, you got your teacher in the wing. And it, I wasn't by myself. There was a group of probably five or six other girls. And she's in the wing doing the routine. And this was back in the 80s when people still did baton. But <laughs> hashtag Misty Secrets Revealed. But honestly, I wasn't paying attention. So that's why I didn't know my routine. I kind of, you know, blanked out and wasn't paying attention, which is, you know, I have ADD and, you know, things happen. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh, there's all kinds of things. All right. What do I want to show? How about this fun metal fruit bowl? It's not a colander. It's a fruit bowl because there's no holes in it. It's got a base on it with the little leaves. Painted on, not hand painted on. They're stenciled on, I'm sure. No marking on it, but it is $8.60. It's got, um, it's kind of like a golden yellow. What was that color? People would like the refrigerators. What was that called? Harvest gold. It's kind of a harvest gold color. And it is $8.60. Okay. What else do we have well, here? I have a couple kind of cool pieces, I think. Let me see the time. Okay, we've got about five more minutes, so I'm going to show a couple more things. Mustard is mustard color. Well, how about some Schlitz, Schlitz beer salt and pepper shakers? Doesn't everybody need these in their lives? It, there's a salt and pepper. George says the salt and pepper shakers were burrite. I have a lifeline to him. 
I know everybody needs George on a lifeline. George can George needs to be a consultant. He needs to be the it needs to be the antique consultant. He needs to char charge in his feet. No, he doesn't need to start charging his fees. Um, anyone want to look at some shady Russians? <laughs> Shaving brushes? Oh, okay. No. I mean, there's some shady Russians in the world, but we're not going to talk about that. Okay. Schlitz. They're made out of a really, well, I think it's the tops and bottoms are metal. They do have the stoppers, I think. Does this one have? No, this one doesn't have the stopper, but this one does. And these are $5 for the end. Shady Russians. Does anybody want to look at some shady Russians? Dad, do you want to look at shady Russians? I just drank one. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's show. This is a beautiful set. This is a beautiful vanity brush. He could do Sue at Sue Me. Very informative. Yeah. I love Sue. <laughs> yeah, George is amazing. I'm looking forward. We're going to set up a time where he's going to come in here and he can probably, I have never seen someone that could just walk through an antique mall and just like pick something up and be able to tell like the whole history of it. It's amazing. Make sure that you subscribe to the, the Antique Nomads YouTube channel. He hasn't reached a thousand subscribers and that blows my mind. Yes, give the thumbs up. Okay, so I'm going to show this beautiful, uh, it's not sterling, this brush and comb set. It's just metal. There's the brush and the comb. Has this really pretty filigree on it. Now, as you can see, the comb is missing a tooth. But, I mean, no one's going to use this. It's just going to be for display. But this set is $10 for the set. Some shady Russians on Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah. Francis. George is the antique nomad. He has a YouTube channel and it's amazing. So make sure that you subscribe to his. He's the antique professor. He knows everything. Last piece. Last piece I'm going to show is this really pretty brooch mid-century they're like pipes they're hollow again it's not silver there's no marking on it at all anywhere there's the back of it the pin back is still intact and it is five dollars the antique nomad i'll link everyone that has a channel that has been in here been participating i will Try to remember tonight after this goes up um, to link everybody's channel in the description. But the Antique Nomad is, he's a wealth of information. And I, he's so nice. If you have a question on anything, I'm sure that, you know, you could probably send him a message. But he's very close to, um, re well, get reaching his thousand subs. And he should have a thousand subs because he's amazing. His videos are very well done. Um, and I, I definitely go check out his channel. All right, we are at 159. So again, if there was anything that you had seen that I had shown, or if you have questions on anything, send me an email. If you need, you know, want some more information on something that I had shown, also send an email and ask me questions on it. But um, send me an email at poshypate at gmail.com. It'll be in the description box later. And I think the brooch is mid-century. I think it's probably from the 1940s, 1950s. And um, I will be going live again on Sunday. I will um, send out a um, thing on Instagram. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram too, because I do post a lot on Instagram as well. And I think I'm going to start doing offering some things for sale on Instagram as well. So make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. And if you aren't subscribed, subscribe to my channel because I will be having another sale on Sunday. And I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.